Are we on? Am I going? Oh yeah. I'm um, recording. Best piece of advice is that just Mr. Kirby. My best piece of advice is to go back to that kid you were at 7 or 12 or 10 or whatever it was that you were just doing without caring and things were just fun and easy and you woke up and got out of bed because why wouldn't you? And do that. Whatever it is that made that person happy, do that problem with that is is usually there's a whole lot of mess that happened between you being that little kid when you had that recognition that society and people and your family and friends and whatever had all these ideas of what that meant for you to be and that gets in the way of just getting up and just doing and so there's a process of working through those things that other people have put there and expectations from other people are all from what I can figure out is a out of love out of their own fears and out of their own expectations that have been put on them and figuring out what those are and figuring out how to a forgive other people for that and to forgive yourself for listening to anybody so that you can shut up and listen to yourself and trust in those crazy what seems probably like stupid ideas and doing them anyway and someone was laughing at me today when I signed up for this other big personal development training where I'm at Smart Success with Shalene Johnson right now which was something that somebody else invited me to, one of those things that I could have easily said no to, said I, you know, can't afford it, or it's a plane ticket, or it's flying, or whatever, but you say yes to the crazy things that seem like they don't fit and they don't work, because nothing amazing ever comes from anything that fits or anything that works. And the person next to me was laughing when she was like, oh, you seemed like, like it didn't seem like something you were into, and it's because he started talking and this thing happened and I felt like I wanted to puke and anytime I feel like I want to puke or I feel like this insane panic that's exactly where I go because so often we let our fears get in the way of things that we want to do and I learned to start running towards my fears just like I used to be afraid of heights as a little kid and so I got on the high dive and then I got on the top of a really big swing and then I did some crazy roller coaster thing and eventually the scary thing stops being that scary and your rock bottom raises and you look back and little tiny things throw you off to get the same emotional reaction and you can start to realize like how much you've grown and how low things used to have to be to put you there because you always feel the same way you always feel the same level of scared. You always feel the same level of pissed off. You always feel the same level of sad. It's just the stimulus and what you're willing to accept to make you feel that way. And when you raise your standard, it becomes really easy to just get up and do the things you want to do without thinking about it. There you go. <laughs>